All right, so what is going on? Welcome back. So today is Sunday. We're going to do the Railway Museum instead of the Castle Museum. So that's all done, six euros per person, so pretty cheap indeed. So that's where we're going to go. Breakfast first, then beer, then lunch, then beer, then Market. Railway Museum. <laughs> Markets. Markets and then Railway Museum. So that's the plan. I'm going to sit down and have a rest <laughs> first because I'm knackered and my back and my knees are killing because I'm getting old. So that's what I'm going to do now. Just at breakfast now, got a drink, fancy, fancy. And what the heck is that? Coffee. Espresso. It's like a pile of shit. <laughs> Swear all I've done this holiday is eat bacon. Another bacon forget. Just on the underground now, like London, Madrid do have an underground tube station. So we're getting that onto where, where are we going? La Latina, the markets, and then we're going to go to the railway museum. Arrived at the markets now. There you go, all the way down there and further down. Don't know how you can see how I zoom in, best I can. But yeah, tap market, junk market for these two. Just slipped into KFC for the toilet stop because I'm dying for the toilet. But yeah, not much on the markets as usual when you come to country. There's never anything that interests you, to be fair. So we're going to look around more stalls because it's quite a big market, to be fair, about halfway through. And we're going to get a tram to the railway museum, something more interesting than junk markets. <laughs> Mum and Dad are just going to the supermarket. I'm out here because it's too hot in that supermarket. Uh, we've gone for some sweets, obviously, because we've got another metro journey. So underground journey to the railway museum so it's all come out here get a bit of fresh air and enjoy the sun we're about to get on the underground now where are we getting off at <laughs> you have no idea neither do i but also know it's somewhere in spain if that helps because it really doesn't help me which one um, Delicious. Oh, yeah. So we're getting off at Del Delicious. 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 It's right. It's right in front of you. We yeah, get off at um, Delicious. Um, so that's where the railway museum is. It shuts at three, obviously because it is Sunday. So <laughs> things will close early, even though we do open pretty late over here in Spain. I found that out. You know, not like your seven or nine o'clock starts back home. It's like half ten over here. So yeah. We're getting off at Decius or Delicius or what, I don't even know how to pronounce it. We're getting off there. Underground is there. Let's go. There you go. There's a train. I think it's outside. I'm not too sure, but there's a massive train right in front of us. Just don't know where you can see it. I'll get a bit closer. There you go. I can't see myself. Sun's blaring on the camera. I can't see through. So there you go. If you can see it, you can see it. If not. Yeah, um, there you go, you can see it now. We are now entering the museum. So I'll show you some few trains in a minute. So as you first walk in, this is what you get. There you go, Sean the Sheep over there. There you go, model railway in Spain here. A CEF 2016 model was built here. Just gonna have to keep the clips very, very short because he's playing music behind. Obviously, it'll copyright your time video, which means you guys won't be able to watch it. So I'm gonna keep it very, very short. If I know there was music here, I wouldn't have been filming, but I did. But there you go, you're getting a treat. The last proper full day in Madrid. Tomorrow we'll go back home. There you go, just inside all the engines. I don't know what you can see because obviously glass is reflecting, but there you go. So the music has died down for a bit. Does look like there is more outside further on. So we'll just get out of this because on the other side there are junk markets. So 
think outside it'll be bigger, no more music, so hopefully this video will get copyrighted, there's a little bridge here going across, look at some more trains, and yeah, show you guys obviously. I don't know why I call this a museum, because it's not a museum. It's literally just walk around, look at a few trains, go outside, come back, and look at the other trains that you're not seeing. That's literally all it is. This is not a museum. What a load of bollocks. There you go. A stripped train. There's your firebox. There's all the heating pipes there. Half a stripped train, because the rest of it's not stripped, so... There you go, there's your firebox. Heating pipes there. Just going to eat a Spanish bar now. Time for a pint, a beer. Got some food there. Getting through with the beers, so let's tuck in. Beer review. I tell you what, after the disappointment of that railway museum, I'll give that a 7.5 out of 10. This isn't good. It's like drastically. Need a piss. There's old toilets here. I fucking die in the toilet. For fuck's sake. I can't hold it in, I really can't. Oh, this is fucking torture. That is toilet stop over. Just picked up some cheese and ham, French cheese on Francais to so play. Three chocolate rolls. So we're gonna go back to the hotel and make it because we're not paying restaurant prices that's far too much Ooh, mango lemon we'll try that mango lemon fucking hell fanta that's watermelon fanta watermelon fucking hell i'm one thick bastard lunch has arrived let's tuck in i've gone for cheese and ham and crisp here it is in the hotel room now just been through a quick snooze so I'm going to start packing everything ready for tomorrow because tomorrow we are going home, unfortunately. Uh, but tomorrow does go with a bit of a bonus. You know, we are going to Old Trafford tomorrow. So, you know, Man United, I'll see you tomorrow. But yeah, bit of a disappointment that railway museum wasn't a museum whatsoever. I don't know what a museum is like over here, probably. But I tell you that, that is not like a museum. That is not like Beamish Railway Museum. But yeah, it is what it is. You know, we've done it now, so I'm just going to get ready and we're going to get a bite to eat, tea, pizza preferably, because it's our last day, you know, splash out, go have a pizza, a couple of beers, and then obviously watch the World Cup tonight is Spain versus Germany. Obviously, we are in the capital of Madrid, so we'll find somewhere to watch it. If not, we can just watch it here in the hotel on the telly. I have got Sky News on, because it's the only channel in English and I can't speak a word of Spanish. Because I did French at school, so, you know, I'll be alright in France. I can speak a, a little bit of French. Not the best, but, you know, time for improvement on my French. Already now. So, we're going to go down to the restaurant, get something to eat, like I say, a pizza, preferably. Because that's what I want. And a beer. There you go. Let's check it's hot. Got a doorbell here, look. I didn't even realise. Listen. There you go, you can hear it, but yeah, anyways, food and beer time now. So, we're off to the shopping centre now. Uh, after the shopping centre, we're going to get something to eat. Um, so yeah, it's not a far walk, like, about seven minute walk from the hotel to the shopping centre. So it's not that far to walk. So no need to fork out for a taxi and use our legs. There you go. Just got across this road and there's a shopping centre right in front of you. Let's see if it's better than a traffic centre. Because nothing can beat a traffic centre. Just got into the shopping centre now. It does say no cameras. Didn't say anything about filming on your phone. So do it in a sneaky way, that's how you do it. Does look like it's the old shop open because the rest do look pretty closed. Vodafone in the phone house there. Looks like it's the old place open, this sports shop, so let's have a look. To be fair, that Adidas hoodie is pretty nice. Roll that in a small row. There's me again. There you go. But yeah, like I said, I do think this is the old place open. I don't know, let's look around the rest of the shopping centre, but that is a really nice hoodie, you know. Just for getting paint on when I'm cold and doing some decorating. 
you know, I won't mind. It almost feels abandoned in the shopping centre, obviously, because it is night time, you know. We're coming here early in the morning before we fly out. Uh, but yeah, flight is at 9 o'clock in the morning, so tomorrow's Monday, Lunes in Spanish. There's some stairs going down to, I believe, a soup. Is that a soup? I can't read Spanish. Anyways, I think it is Super Macard or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, let's go have a look. We'll venture on these escalators. Oh Jesus, you're fucking fast. Oh fucking hell. That's right, all down. Jesus, all slow down. Escalator. Anyways, there's a gym as well down there. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. We'll just see. Barbers. But yeah. You know, sack it water rest now that I slow down a bit. Oh, shit. There you go, I was fucking fell over again. Um, there's a washing machine place. Laundrette. There's like a sports shop. Well, sports shop. Yeah, sports shop. They got your protein shakes. Protein bars. Asia trainers there. Yeah, let's have a good look around. Um, it feels illegal coming in here, I'm not going to lie. Uh, right, it's three people, oh Jesus. There's a dog, a dog here without an owner. There's a bar and restaurant. Another sports shop there. There you go, a dog without an owner in the middle of a shopping centre. There's a tattoo shop. Now, I do want a tattoo. Well, tattoos, you got to start with one, obviously. You know, your first tattoo is always important, so it needs to be something meaningful. And the tattoo idea I've got in my head that you guys will see in the near future. I'm not getting it done this year, preferably around about summertime next year. So it's all fresh for the summer, you know. Obviously, because with my job, you use your hands quite a lot. It's a hands-on job painting and decorating. So I'm going to book some time off in the summer, like two weeks or so, and get the tattoo done then because I've used up all my holidays for obviously this year and then I've got to rework them to get to, um, to get to, get them back, right, what's on here? Aparitimento. Oh, it's just the exit. The exit's down there. You got... Your pets at home, your Spanish pets at home there, right there. So dog cages, cat foods, uh, hamsters, guinea pigs, rabbits, you know, typical pets at home stuff realistically. Yeah, that looks like the exit in the car park, so back up the escalator we go. And to the main floor of the shopping centre. How many floors are there? One, two, three, four. There's four floors, so... We'll go up to, this must be the first floor then, because ground level is car park, entrance and exit first. So go up to the second floor, which we've already done. And then, go, oh Jesus. But I need to watch what I'm doing on these escalators before I kill myself. You know, death by escalator whilst vlogging. But anyways, we're going to go up to the third floor now, because we've done the second, first. And you don't want to see the ground floor, because it's just the exit in the car park. It's not really interesting to be fair, so I'm not, there's no point even bothering filming that. There's a little bar here, so I'm gonna speak to my dad see if he wants a beer. And yeah, you know what, I'm desperate for a toilet though. Typical today, isn't it? All that beer's passed through me, I need a toilet. But yeah, I'm gonna find a toilet now and go up to the third floor. I think the archer on the third floor, I'm not too sure to be honest. Um, it would help if I knew Spanish, but I don't. So I've got to, you know, kind of figure things out the hard way. On the third floor now, you know, the escalators, I kept me, um, me lack of judgment, let's just say that, and decided not to vlog because those were a lot steeper than those escalators out there. Anyways, you've got like a gadget shop, is it gadgets? 
It's a toy shop, I thought it was gadgets. It's like gadgets. But yeah, toilets around here, thank God. Because you know, like a child, I can't hold it in and I need to go every five minutes. But yeah, they better not be on the fourth. I think they are, you know. Not gonna really lie to you. Uh, down here, another barbers. Seems to be a lot of barbers here. You know, the street where my hotel is, there's about four or five barber shops. But yeah, up there is just restaurants, so like in the Manchester right there, that'd be like your food court and stuff. Like your KFCs, your McDonald's, your Five Guys, your whatever you want to eat. And I need to hurry up in here, because there's 15 minutes until the game kicks off. So I do want to watch it, then get something to eat. Right, you got Ronaldo's fitness, CR7's fitness there. Right down there. I'll flip the camera around so you guys can see it properly. Instead of me just going like that and pointing to things. There you go. The Cristiano Ronaldo Crunch Fitness Gym, the CR7. Obviously there's quite a lot of these around Madrid. There's one outside as well. And it sounds like there's not a floor. They have because my shoes are squeak as you can hear. Go whack 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 like a duck. So yeah. Now I'm gonna go to the fourth floor. Yeah, I've got four back round, aren't I? Oh no, there's, there's some steps there that I missed. Over there. That's where I've come up on the escalators. So let's walk up, see what there is. Um, like I say, I do need to hurry this up because Spain versus Germany is on tonight. So, I need to hurry up as fast as possible. If you're scared of heights, I'd really advise you not to look down. That's how high up we are. So, it does look like I was right. It is a food court up here. I like Manchester Ardell, so... Take a guess, sometimes you get it right or wrong. There's a Dory Kebab bar over there. You know, we're not trying Spanish Kebab yet, but... Anyways... I saw it was up here, nothing spectacular. And it does look like a cinema, because that does say OG on, on it, so I'm assuming, like the traffic centre, there is obviously the cinema and the food courts downstairs. In Manchester right now, the food court is on the top, you know, and the Odeon's not at the top of there, so you can tell the two between the traffic centre and Man Manchester right now, surely. But anyways, World Cup time now. There you go, pizzas have arrived. We're going with German beer tonight, obviously Spain versus Germany. We're going with the Heineken's, that'll be mine. That's mine. And that's hot. It's all just about the other one, what you expect. But there you go, let's tuck in. There's my quality. Pepperoni extreme. That is pizza done, I feel bloated, I'm not going to lie. The amount of dough on that, I didn't realise it with that thick, it's like a deep pan pizza that. Um, where he's walking back to the hotel now, gonna pack up, uh, well, beer first, then pack up, then go to sleep and end this, well, end this vlog then go to sleep. Um, it's going out tomorrow morning, so pretty early on in the morning, uh, because we'll be up, uh, doing our last little trips around Madrid and then obviously going to the airport to fly back to Manchester and tomorrow we are going to Old Trafford, I said it in the previous clip uh, prior that we are going to Old Trafford tomorrow uh, just to get if, um, the whole shirt and the weight, I might get the weight shirt um, obviously because I've not got it yet because I've had no money because I've been broke but that's my own fault because I've been stupid enough to spend all my money like that you know, now that I've decided to be sensible and get things that I want this is exactly what I'm going to do tomorrow. Back in the hotel room now. Got the game on over there. And I've got a beer as well. You know, they're kind enough to let me take it up to the room, so. <sighs> Quality beer, that. So it's really, really nice. Just what you need before, you know, relax. Go have another go in the hot tub one last time. And get to bed, get to sleep, so I'm going to end this vlog here, if you guys enjoyed it, remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already, 
but I'll see you tomorrow for the return back to Manchester.